Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brad, and my hands is The Reformation of the World as Overseen by a Realist Demon King, Volume 4. Uh, this is one of the manga that's out there that I really, really, really love. Uh, every volume has been solid, including this one. I'm just going to make it really easy to begin with. If you want to turn off now, it's good. It's really good. Uh, the art is by Minatsu Suzuki, original stories by Rusuki Hata, character design is Eugen, translation Andrea McKnight, lettering Anthony Quintessenza. Alright, so the story is about this guy who is reincarnated into this demon world brought in by, like, a god. Uh, yes, it's another reincarnation story. There seems to be, like, you know, dime a dozen type of thing when it comes to manga, like an overrun or overdone genre at this point. Uh, so the question is, is how does it stand out? How is it different than all the other ones out there? So this is a story about this guy named Astroth, who's from our world, gets reincarnated in this demon world. Because he's the newest demon king, he's, like, the lowest level. So he decides to kind of be a realist, and, and instead of just attacking with power or whatever magic he might have, he goes and plans ahead, and that seems to be his strength, is that he's thinking uh, many steps ahead of all his opponents. Uh, so the previous volume left off with him battling against uh, this demon king, Elagos, uh, and that battle continues here, and then the next adventure begins. What this volume really, I think, emphasizes is what the strengths Astroth uh, brings. Uh, you know, instead of subjugating his people, he's created a pretty, like, free land uh, where humans and demons and monsters can live free, uh, pursue, like, the lives that, lives that they want, they live with each other, uh, they, you know, there's, you know, a, a good system out there to, like, actually allow this society to prosper. And because of that, he's won loyalty from all these people. Uh, but he's also really smart about that. You know, if you are what would seem to be like a weak king, then of course your enemies are going to attack you. They're going to try to take advantage of you. So to give an idea of how smart he is, is he allowed a lot of rumors to get out about him that he's not this nice person, that he is uh, someone you don't want to trifle with. And and uh, there is this certain strength he brings towards you. So he himself is, is while a really good ruler, uh, is getting uh, the message out that maybe he's not that great of a ruler, that he's he's not, he's a great ruler, but, like, maybe he's not that nice of a ruler. Um, and it's, it, I think that really shows off, like, his thinking and how he's approaching things and how those, that, uh, you know, approaching things is different than the other demons are doing. And in that way, I think the, the series is really interesting. This isn't just a grind them out, you know, fight, gain power sort of thing. Like, he is creating alliances and um, thinking about, you know, how to properly build his uh, town outside of his, his castle and leadership. And, you know, this one is, is him um, expanding his intelligence operation. So it's, it's kind of a well thought out, more like a, a town building um, game than anything else. Um, there, you know, there's other ones that just feel like a grinding uh, mission constantly trying to up your XP and killing demons and monsters and whatever to do that. This is a uh, much more like, you know, Sim City. <laughs> you know, build your city, try to make it optimize, uh, use everything at your disposal, that sort of stuff. So uh, it's as much about influence as it is about power. Um, the art I think is is good. It's always been really solid. Uh, I like the designs. I really like the characters. There's like this nice mix of like fantasy. Uh, elements of kind of the real world. Uh, the characters, I think, are, are memorable and pretty cool looking. Uh, you know, it's not maybe the flashiest when it comes to action and all that, but it's just a really solid read with a really good art. So overall, I mean, I'm super happy about this. It's, it's is out uh, later July. As always, like, the series has been great, entertaining. There's a reason I really like it. For those that know me, I think if you start reading this, you'll probably be like, yeah, this is going to be one that he really enjoys. Um, it kind of reminds me of there was, a, there was a, a manga out many, many years ago called The First President of Japan. And this is kind of like the, the fantasy version of that. And I loved The First President of Japan, and I think it's a, a manga that should be back in print and more people need to talk about it. But 
Uh, this reminds me a lot of that uh, in, a, in a hell of a lot of ways. So go get this, as I said, out later July. Go hit up your comic shop. we got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. It'll tell what comic shop is near you. No shot, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. They're affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage. By doing that, you'll support our site, so thank you for that. And speaking of support, just watch our videos. Support us, as always, so thank you. Of course, I also want to thank Yen Press for opening us up with this review copy. And, of course, thank you all for watching. If you're into manga, if you're into comics, check us out every day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading that manga, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.